How about that then? Isn't that beautiful? That's our crinodendron, uh, which we've got on another video you would have seen, seen last year. Um, we're going to be talking today about um, removing suckers, um, shoots that come from the base of a plant that are unwanted. It's taking the energy away from the, the plant that you want to keep. Now we're going to do that on a, on a contorted hazel, um, branches that go like that. It's a grafted plant. Um, grafted means that you, they, they, for a year on the nursery, they grow a plant, they cut it off and graft on this contorted variety. Um, and if you're not careful, sometimes the rootstock, the plant that's in the ground, can send up a shoot and you'll see in a moment that that can, that can take over. <laughs> But I just wanted to point out if we just go to uh, your left a little bit here um, and uh, we could zoom up a little bit to show the flowers. This is a, um, a, a Japanese uh, tree peony. Got a lovely, lovely smell to it. Now it's a special type of um, peony and that, if you look down below here, is a grafted peony. Um, there's the, um, the Japanese kind of tree version and from the roots we have these suckers coming um, which are not the tree peony this is the old the, the, the traditional um, peony um, and because this actually we, we quite like these suckers because they're about to come into flower they get the lovely big um, kind of um, pinky red um, blooms on them it doesn't seem to damage the um, the tree peony so I'm quite happy to allow at this stage anyway these suckers to continue to come up each year and it doesn't seem to bother the tree peony. I can just see there's a stem there that's snapped off in the wind. Just get him out of the way. So that's a tree peony. We are going to get to the... Um... <laughs> my, my director has just reminded me that we were going to show something else for no extra charge. We're going to, um, you will see on the previous video, we were cutting back the, um, the fatsia, which is putting on lots and lots of nice um, new growth here. But this one shoot here um, doesn't seem to be growing so much. But if we look lower down, can you see there's a shoot or two there? So I'm just going to... There we go. And we'll see if we can get a shoot coming down from the base. But that's the good news is we've got lots of these nice new glossy um, shoots. Um, some beauties come in there um, on the hats here. Tricia Sundance coming into flower. Lovely. Um, have a sniff. Yeah, yeah, why not? Um, and uh, this is the um, uh, Fatinia Red Robin there. And whoa, look at that bad boy. Whoa, isn't that beautiful? Uh, here's our, our rhododendron. We are going to get to the, uh, the plant in question. We're almost there. Um, okay, so come over here then. Here is our contorted hazel, which has these kind of twisty stems. They look really nice in the winter. Um, quite unusual kind of messed up stems that are quite uh, unusual to look at and they get lovely catkins on them. Here is a straight stem. Okay, this is not contorted. This is because if you follow it down, it's coming from the rootstock. This is the original normal hazelnut. And because this is so vigorous, this is so fast growing, this will take over. Uh, if, you, if you leave it to grow, it will take over. So we lose the contorted and all we have is a great big hazel tree, which we don't want. So we are going to... <laughs> don't forget, sound effects, very, very important here. Bit of a grunt and a groan. <laughs> Um, oh, there's another one there. Oh, oh there's another one. There we go. So, uh, okay. Sorry. So there we go. You can see how big 
that's how vigorous these are. Um, I've cut them off just above ground level because I didn't want to damage my um, my secateurs, but now I'm going to go and mess up those stumps below ground. I'm going to kind of get my old secateurs in there and see if I can uh, and dig away some of those, the base of those shoots to try and stop them coming again. So um, if it's a plant where you don't want the suckers, you've got to try and cut them out at least once a year so that all the goodness goes to the to the, the grafted part of the plant. This can happen on all sorts of um, things. It can happen on roses, it can happen on grafted wisteria, grafted hazels. Um, but as I say, our grafted peony, we, we let it go because it suits us to have flowers on both. Hope that helps. Any questions, let us know via our YouTube comment section. Thank you.